Hi, this is a tutorial of how to use this stand by doing an example that requires LabVIEW modules and also calling Python and Perl scripts. We're also going to overview how to use the sequential, parallel, and batch process models. So let's start with the following scenario. So let's assume you have a device that you need to run a couple tests so you develop those test modules in LabVIEW. And now, we need to add some extra tests for the same device. And some of them use Python and Perl scripts. And maybe one is a combination of LabVIEW running Python script, and this particular one needs to run multiple times. So this time, you decide to use test stand for your test management software. And use the sequential process model for testing one unit at a time. And later, you're asked to test multiple units at a time. So for this scenario, you can use the parallel or the batch process model. So let's take a quick view of how it looks running the example that we're going to be doing before we jump into code. So select the LabVIEW adapter and let's add a pass or fail step. We're going to configure that one and select the BI for test one. You can edit the BI and run it to make sure that it works correctly. And now we need to tell test stand which ones are the inputs and outputs and where to store them. To evaluate this step, we need to define the data source. So we're going to use the step result pass fail. Then you can add additional data to the report. For test number two, we're going to use a numeric limit test step. To evaluate this step, we're going to use the step result pneumatic in the data source. Then we need to define the step limits. We're going to add a new sequence for test number 3 and 4, just to show how to call sequences from the main sequence. For running Python scripts, we're going to use the call executable step. We're going to save the standard output text from the script and save it into a variable that we're going to be using later to evaluate the step. Then we can add the script output and the variable data to the report. Now, to evaluate the data from the script, we're going to use a numeric limit test step by using the non adapter. To run a Perl script, it's exactly the same procedure as with Python.
Now we can execute the second sequence just to verify that all these calls to the scripts work correctly. And now we need to call this sequence from the main sequence. So for the last step, we have a VI that calls a Python script. And we're going to use a pass fail test step for this. The last part is to add a for loop to make sure that we can run this test number five three times. Now we can run the sequence. To test multiple units, all we need to do is to change the process model to either parallel or batch model. I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you next time.